Welcome to TeachMeIOS.com, where you can find tips, tricks, tools, and tutorials for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to activate, customize, and then use Notification Center in iOS 6. First, let's go to the Settings app. In the Settings app, near the bottom, you'll see Notifications. Tap on that to go to the Notification Center settings. At the top you have the Do Not Disturb notification which silences all notifications for certain periods of time or whenever you have it turned on. Below that you'll see two options to either sort your apps manually or by time. Sorting apps manually gives you full control over the order that they appear. Sorting by time will place the most recent notification up top. Scrolling down reveals all of the apps that are in the notification center. Tapping on any one of these apps will give you additional options for how you want the notifications to appear. So tapping on photos gives you the options to either turn it on or off in notification center. It also gives you how many items you can display. You can choose the alert style, either none, banners, or alerts. Banners appear at the top of the screen, fold down and fold up. The alerts appear in the middle of the screen and require you to take action to either view the alert or to dis dismiss it. Below that is the badge app icon. This is the little number that appears in the upper right hand corner of the app icon on your home screen that tells you how many notifications you have that you haven't seen yet. You can either turn the sounds on and off. And then there's additional customized options for each, each app that you go into. So this is the photos app. So you have show, to stream, show photo stream alerts from everyone or my contacts only. So that's a customized alert just for the photos app. Uh, you can also show preview, which includes a preview in the alerts and banners. Um, and then at the bottom, you can view in the lock screen. This allows you to see the notifications in the lock screen if you want. If you scroll all the way down towards the bottom, depending on how many apps you have in here, you'll see apps that are not in the notification center. These are ones that you've turned off by tapping the on off toggle at the top. So scrolling back up to the top, now you have set up your notifications preferences and you want to rearrange them. I have mine set by uh, to be arranged manually. So tapping in the upper right hand corner on the edit gives you the uh, full options to control how it appears in the notification center. So just tap and drag on the three little lines on the side of each uh, app and you can see you can fully customize the order that you want it to appear. When you're done, tap done and then we'll show you how to use it. So anywhere on your device, if you're in an app, if you're uh, looking at photos, if you're on the home screen like I am now, you can activate Notification Center by just dragging down from the top of the screen. Drag all the way down and there is Notification Center. So these are the customizations that we just set up in the Settings app. You can see the weather is at the top. If you scroll right and left on the weather, you can go from the current weather to the five-day forecast. Tapping on the weather will take you to the weather app so you can view additional information about the weather. Dragging down on one of the dates will give you hourly. Again, dragging down will activate notification center. You can see there's tap to tweet, tap to post. That's a simple way to engage with the social networks that you're a part of. Uh, there's stock quotes that scroll uh, along the screen. You can move those backwards or forwards um, or just let them scroll as they as they go. So that's pretty much Notification Center. To deactivate it, 
just tap at the bottom where you see the three lines and drag up. Or the other way to do it is just to push the home button and you'll go back to where you were. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Find more tips, tricks, tools, and tutorials on teachmeios.com.